This is going to be a very different type of video for this channel. I will be reviewing different review aggregation websites for movies and TV, and seeing which ones are going to be suitable for compiling all your reviews for those of us who watch anime. I will be rating these websites out of five on the following criteria. So how clean it looks, like if it looks nice to use and doesn't look like dog's breakfast. Also, how easy it is to use. Are the controls on the site clunky and finicky to use or are they intuitive? I'll also be looking at the community and whether or not you'll fit right in on this side of the internet. There will also be a based criteria, so how based this website is, which doesn't only factor in the community's basedness, but also the website's cultural significance and its leadership. Though most importantly of all, how much anime is actually on these websites, and are they viable to use for that? Here's the list of anime which I'll be using to test on each website. So without further ado, here we go. Rotten Tomatoes has definitely become something of a cultural battleground where the differences between the scores of critics and the general audience can really highlight how out of touch corporate reviewers are with the rest of the world. Though, is it actually any good as a review aggregating website in the first place? It is very easy to leave a review or a simple rating, however the community experience could be improved. When you visit other people's profiles, you can't really sort each of the movies by alphabetical order or by highest rated unlike a lot of other websites. I mean, it is pretty clean so I can't really fault it for that, but what about the anime. We got 5 out of 7 showing up on the database, but while they did show up, reviews for some were quite lacking. While that's certainly not a problem for your name, it's much more problematic if we're trying to join a community. So, Rotten Tomatoes shouldn't be your primary website to put up your anime reviews. I'd only use it to see what normies think about a particular popular mainstream anime, and use it for nothing more one and a half stars. Oh, also on a side note, it's kind of sad the Tokyo Ghoul live action shows up on Rotten Tomatoes, but not the actual anime. Letterboxd is definitely one of the cleanest and most modern looking of the review aggregator websites. It's also got one of the best community features out of all of them, where you're able to visit other people's profiles and actually see what they watch, sort through everything, and get their general thoughts and recommendations. In terms of anime, the only thing missing was was Oshinoko for some reason, and Spy Family where the series didn't show up. So, it seems that out of all of the mainstream review aggregator websites, this one's probably the best for you to combine both anime and normal movies together, right? No. And the reason why is because the community on here is stacked with leftists. Just to demonstrate this to you, let me read you a few extracts from this review of Weathering With You. This was my own personal hell. I was actually very excited to see Weathering With You. Makuso Shinkai is a mixed director at best, but his work was certainly improving over the years. Weathering With You is despicable. I have absolutely no time anymore for Shinkai's work. As much as he personally seems like a really nice guy, I cannot stand his art or the mindset of it. No director alive is as talented as Shinkai, whilst simultaneously squandering his talent in every single film he makes. This is a film about child poverty, underage spicy work runaway children, and mass population displacement. Except it isn't. His female characters still have no dignity. She's a stereotypical Shinkai love interest, empowered enough to appear like a proper girl, but ultimately destined to become submissive to her own love when Quiet Guy saves her. Just yuck. Okay, but in all seriousness, there's some really cool people on here, and from my experience using it, I'd unironically also recommend it. Four stars. Which brings us to the sponsor of this video. Zeitgeist Reviews is a website which claims to be an anti-woke and anti-corporate movie review aggregator website with thousands of filters that help you get to the point. They aggregate the culture war and obsess over race, politics, and finance so you don't have to. They believe that decentralization, aggregation, and politically incorrect anonymous reviews are the solution to helping you find reviews you can trust and movies that don't suck. 
it's pretty easy to write reviews and you can do it anonymously too. I think what I find most helpful is showing the ratings of these shows from different countries like here in your name. There are features on the site which are a bit broken for anime, like the diversity check of the cast, which is 94% Asian for your name. So while it may be useful to spot for pandering in Western movies, it needs an update for foreign films. The way you write a review is also really cool, where you can inform readers how much Marxism, feminism, affirmative action, rainbow propaganda, and how much militant atheism is included. Four out of seven anime showed up on the database, which isn't really a problem since you can manually add things to the database and write your own reviews for them. I also like how you can see different affiliations of different movie critics, like if they're center-right or simply just anti-woke. Overall, it's obviously as based as being an anti-woke website, though just purely as a site which gives you information about movies, it's very useful in that sense too. There's new features being constantly added and it's just this quaint little corner of the internet three and a half stars. Okay, so the reason why we're all here, it's me shilling for my anime list. This is an automatic five stars for me if you're watching anime and need a place to compile all the anime that you've watched over the years. My anime list is the easiest and most intuitive way to do that. At the end of it all, you've got this massive list you can sort alphabetically or more importantly by score. You can judge people's ratings by comparing them to yours. You can judge how much anime people have actually watched you can judge how high the mean score people have. I've seen people with every anime they've watched rated at a 10 out of 10, and I've seen the opposite side of the spectrum, where everything other than a few 2000s anime have been rated a 1 out of 10. Which brings me to the community on this website. Considering my anime list has lasted since 2004, there are likely people still here from 18 years ago. The site also claims that they host half a million users every day, so there's definitely a lot of variety to pull from. Furthermore, I just generally trust the opinion of folks on here considering how many of them have just watched a lot of anime, unlike someone else here. Though I also really appreciate tradition and considering that this has been the go-to site for anime review aggregation since I was in high school, then this is certainly the site that I'd recommend that you use too for you who watch anime. Okay, so that was a very long way of saying that Rotten Tomatoes is bad, go visit the sponsor of this video and just use my anime list for anime reviews. Though I do hope you've enjoyed it and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you did me a favor and shared this with a friend who'd find this video helpful. Another special thanks to the sponsor of this video, Zeitgeist Reviews, and if you'd like more content from the leading Christian voice on Anitube, then I've got the perfect video here just for you.